I'm heading out fossil collecting today along Monmouth Beach through to the west of Lyme Regis. I'd like to find some little golden nuggets of delight like that, some ammonite fossil finds. So let's go fossil collecting along this stretch. I've got Wellington boots. That's one really good thing to have on your fossil walk with good rubber grips and some leggings and a coat. A tide table is essential. Go collecting an hour before low tide and an hour after. That's when the sea will have exposed the beach for your fossil finds. And here you can see I've got some food to sustain me on the beach and a hot drink to warm me from the inside out. All good fossil hunting tips in terms of taking out your essentials. And then also maintain that you always keep away from the dangerous cliffs. They're liable to fall suddenly and without warning. What a beautiful part of the world I fossil hunt in. It's rugged and wild, and because man can't control it with the large landslides and mudslides and rock falls, you have a lovely area, unspoilt, untouched, nature doing what it's doing. As you walk along the Jurassic Coast, looking at the beach area in front of you, the best tools are your eyes for trying to find these ammonite fragments. There's a really nice chunk of an ammonite with all the suture patterns on, very well defined. Look at this lovely geology here. You can see those marine sediments, those layers of limestone. It's a beautiful area. I can see down to Golden Cap. Well, I'm right round here in Pinay Bay. And you can see here, as the water laps up, one of the little pieces eroded by the sea of the Arneoceros ammonites. Looks good for a tap. It's fun to see these ammonites washing out at the end of these mudslides, these areas where the, the cliff and material above it slip down onto the beach in successive waves of mud and rock falls. Very dangerous areas, don't go near the cliffs. Look at this big mudslide here with this slump of material onto the beach. You can see a nice ammonite there. That will road out onto the beach. It's part of an ammonite, but I'm going nowhere near that. That's very dangerous, that area. I'm just zooming in with my iPhone on the cliffs to show you just how dangerous they are. You can see right up to the very top there, those large boulders, those large lumps of limestone ready to fall down onto the beach. And you can see that marine sediment, those sequences of marine sediment, very unstable. Here's the waterfall, the remnants of the waterfall, still along the Jurassic coast. And you can see in my other clip here that it was really beautiful, but it fell down fairly recently onto the beach and smashed into pieces. So uh, hopefully that will regain uh, a really good recovery. So how do I know in some of the rocks that there is a fossil inside, like an ammonite? In this case, in Pinay Bay, I find a blue-grey limestone rock I'm looking for with ground down ammonites it's on the... It's quite a nice Arneoceros ammonite in a large eroded block in Pinay Bay. So I'll have to take that back and get that prepared properly because you can see the keel of the ammonite looks really nice there and preparable. You can hear the erosion there of the cliffs. You can hear that in the background. A lot of people now send me with their iPhones pictures of ammonites, the little ammonites they find on the beach and they ask whether or not they would be worth preparing. So uh, that's always one good tip is to ask people about the fossil finds, the little ammonites protruding out of the rocks. And here I've looked in this iron pyrite patch on the beach in this little rock pool and there is iron pyrite prevalent and that sometimes means the ammonites that are formed in pyrite are also around. So there's no harm in asking at the local shops or the Chamao Heritage Centre or the Lyme Regis Museum about your fossil finds and see what you may or may not have found. The wonderful ammonite pavement, a protected scientifically important site for everyone to see along the Jurassic coast with some absolutely lovely ammonites eroding away with the sea's action.
Well, as I get over towards the edge of the ammonite pavement here, you can see there are cracks in the limestone pavement and the sea will surely take away more of it and make it much smaller in the not too distant future, geologically speaking. So it's sad that that ammonite pavement will be washed away, a lot of it, and you won't see as many ammonites as you do now. When you're out on the beach, do remember these precautions. I tell everyone all the time about being aware of the dangerous cliffs. They're so dangerous, particularly at the moment, with a lot of rainfall and mudslides on the beach, people get stuck in. I've had to dig quite a few people out in the past, and I've had to dig them out with a shovel and get them out of the mudslide in which they were contained. Here's an ammonite quite near the cob, right down near the beach huts on the beach, fine being on the beach for everyone to see. It's a lovely place, Lyme Regis, to see these prehistoric ancient marine sea creatures. So I've come back into town after my fossil walk today. It's nice to see the sun go down and there in the distance is Golden Cap. I'm going to show you another excerpt from one of my little fossil hunting safaris in the summer where I find one of the right rocks and I show you just how I identify that right little rock and what signs I see on the outer edge in terms of thinking that little rock will be worth tapping open. So I hope you like this little clip. Thanks for watching the rest of this video. I'm lucky enough to have found a nice little cobble of the uh, ammonites in this uh, particular limestone rock. You can see here with the uh, nodule, quite a few ground down by the attrition of the sand and sea on the outside. To give the game away, there might be something more on the inside. So I've got my hickory handled hammer and uh, it's quite a hard rock to break through, but I'll have a go at this. Sturdy gloves I recommend as well when breaking this uh, right rock. A bit of the outside material just fell off. Give it a crack with the hammer. See if I can uh, split the fossil out along the line of weakness, which should be the fossil inside that rock. A really good crack with this cleave end of the hammer. There we go, that's induced the crack. I'll just put some seawater in through the crack so when it opens up, this should be a really nice ammonite from the Jurassic. 190 million year old ammonite, the first time it's seen the light of the day in all those millions of years. A nice prehistoric fossil find. I'm pleased with that one, that's a good fossil there, cleaved with this hickory handled hammer.